Hello my friends, last week I filmed a pack with me vlog sharing all my tips and tricks on traveling with your most prized luxury pieces which if you have not seen, I'll make sure to link it down below for you in the info box and today we are actually going on a trip so if you'd like to spend a few days with me in London shopping, eating, hanging out with friends basically just having a great time then make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and keep on watching After grabbing a quick bite for breakfast, I started my day at the row with an appointment, which every time I come to London, I love stopping by the Rose Boutique because they only have a handful of boutiques around the world. So I cannot miss seeing the latest and greatest, which I know it's quite a controversial brand to talk about, but personally, I do really appreciate the road. They're all about quality over quantity. Their pieces speak for themselves without screaming and shouting the brand name. They are all about attention to details, the incredible materials and cuts and finishes that they use. So I am a big fan, but I do have to say that I like some pieces more than others, especially for the price, because it is an insanely expensive line. So I tend to prefer their pieces from their women's collection because they tend to be just a little bit more exciting. Now, one of my to-dos on this trip was to actually check out the rose leather pieces because there was one piece on my wish list, which I didn't want to buy online because I have to be honest, in the past, I was really underwhelmed by the rose leather pieces, but something has changed and I'm not exactly sure what it is but all the pieces that I tried and played around with from their new collection just felt a lot more well produced and a lot more substantial so all of the SIGs that I'm showing you here as well as this upcoming bag I was really impressed by impressed enough to pull the trigger and then the other reason I wanted to stop by the row is to look at their latest knits because I do adore the rose knits I think they create some of the most incredible cashmere pieces so the first thing I tried on while I'm showing you my outfit here which I wore all black I know it's groundbreaking but I did want to sort of pay tribute to the rose aesthetic with this outfit and then the first thing I tried on was this new chunky knit which has this huge hole in it which I love the idea of but unfortunately it doesn't work for me first of all they only had an extra small left which as you can see was way too small but also it was long so I didn't love it I also tried on this black knit pullover which kind of looks like a cardigan or almost a blazer which just simply wasn't the most flattering. And then last but not least, I tried their classic coat, which I can't remember the name of, but I'll leave it up on the screen here, which I adore. And it's definitely something that I would consider, but I didn't buy this for two reasons. Number one, we're going into spring, summer, and I don't need another black cashmere coat. And then number two, I didn't want to carry it home all the way from London, but it's definitely something that I would consider buying. And for size reference, I tried on a size medium. My next up was Goyard, who were really, really strict about filming. So this is the only little clip that I was able to take for you guys. I went into Goyard not to look for something for myself, but to actually buy something for Pi. I was looking at this color, which I didn't end up buying. But if you're wondering, the current price tag on this is 670 pounds. And I didn't realize, but now, all the different shades of Goyard are the same price, whereas previously I think black and tan were a different price from the rest of the colors, but now they are all the exact same price. And then I worked my way over to Moina, which by the way, all of these stores are pretty much next to each other. My next stop was Moina, which I'm not going to spend too much time talking about here because there is an updated deep dive on Moina coming your way really, really soon. It's a brand that I reviewed years ago, but I do want to update you with a few little things. But I looked at a lot of their pieces, but here I'm showing you their mini Rajon bag, which is one of their flagship lines, which is cute. It's personally not my favorite, but the quality is just top notch and then their other core line is the Gabriel line which I personally prefer and if you're looking to start your Moina collection but you don't know where to begin 
try the Gabriel pouch bag which is incredibly comparable to the Kelly pochette with the main difference obviously the quality isn't quite as outstanding as Hermes's quality but it is as close as you can get and the Gabriel clutch bag also features a removable shoulder strap. Now, this was a surprise to me, I didn't know this, but Matches, who are one of my favorite online retailers, actually has a townhouse right across from Goyard where you can go in and have a look at basically anything from Matches. You can make an appointment with a personal shopper and they can order anything off the website for you to look at. Now, I didn't notice, so I didn't make an appointment. I just basically stumbled upon this store so i went in for a browse and i was really happy to see that they carry matches online which is called ray if you love brands like the row or brunello cuccinelli and you appreciate that sort of aesthetic but you don't want to spend the price associated with these brands on staple classic basic pieces ray is a great brand for you to look into which i have ordered several pieces from ray before but i actually had to return most of them because they run insanely big so being able to try them in person is actually incredibly helpful so if you are in london definitely take advantage of this service and if you're not make sure that you size down in most of ray's pieces if you'd like me to i can link some of my favorites below because they create some incredible classic staple pieces as i mentioned before quite comparable to brands like the Row. And then the night ended with me walking back to my hotel down New Bond Street, which isn't my favorite shopping destination in London, even though they do have some amazing boutiques. They have some of the largest sort of flagships of some of our favorite brands, but it tends to get quite busy. But at night it was nice and quiet, so I was able to take some clips of the windows for you guys in case you're interested in seeing the latest and greatest. So here we're looking at Chanel, which believe it or not, Chanel was on my list of stores to visit which i actually did the next day i believe i was looking for a chanel bag actually the chanel 22 bag is something that was on sort of on my wish list or on my list of pieces to check out which i didn't end up buying i couldn't and i wouldn't justify buying a chanel bag at this point but i was looking for a large oversized tote and i was able to find one in the rose new poly bag which we're going to unbox in a second but i did want to look at chanel and show you their window here personally i wouldn't buy really anything chanel at this point just because of the price point the quality and how tacky most of their things have become but anyway moving on to hermes which we are going to be coming back to hermes in part two of this vlog but in the window they had the mini gypsy as well as the entire in the loop line which if you are interested in my thoughts on the in the loop bag i will make sure to have my review on this bag linked up in the corner and last but not least i wanted to quickly unbox the row poly bag with you which is something that i have already shared on my instagram so if you don't make sure you follow me on instagram but it is the type of bag that has been on my wish list for quite a while, I have been looking for a large, easy grab and go tote bag that I can take to the gym, I can take to the park, something that is stylish and chic, but is actually practical. And I have to tell you that I am obsessed with this bag. The quality is top notch. It looks incredible. I cannot tell you how many compliments I have already gotten on this bag and I've only had it for maybe a week or so so it is something that i am really really impressed with and i cannot wait to share with you my in-depth 
review on this as well as part two of this vlog which is going to be coming up next but for now this was it thank you so much for being here and watching if you enjoyed this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet i really appreciate you being here and i hope to see you back here with part two really really soon